All right, let's do this. I got a bunch of pellets and I got some hungry fish. Uh-huh. Look at that. Yeah. Looking full back. Looking full right there. Salvini. Still plenty of pellets all over the floor in there. Go ahead and grab some of those. There we go. Getting all that. There go the two sun cats. There we go. I'm going to throw some pellets in there for them. I'm not quite sure where the red severum is. Oh, there you go. Okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some pellets in there for those sun cats. They don't always make an appearance. So when they do, got to make sure that we treat them right. Make them want to come out and eat again. I want to invite y'all to dinner more often. Come on now. There's one, there's two. That's the bigger one. There go the smaller one. Come on now. Don't be shy. Come on. I put those in there just for y'all. The light really probably throwing them off. As soon as I cut the light off, you know they're going to come out. That's how catfish are. Nocturnal. And these two catfish are no different. To pick this catfish, they be out, though. They be out with the light on. It don't matter. Speaking of to pick this catfish, let's check them out. All right. We have... Let's cut these lights off. There we go. That's much better. All right. So we have the 150 over here. We got some hungry fish. Look at that bass. Ooh, look at him. Man, he's grown so much. Ridiculous. They grow fast. Look at the size of him now. He was the same size as the snook. He got some length on him. Smashing it. Smashing it. Where's the golden garami? Where's the red tail garami? Back there? Come on now. You missing out on everything. Better quit playing. Better quit playing. I got my to drop some more in. There we go. Grab you one. You taking one and leaving with it? Yeah. So the good thing about this fish is that he has no problems with eating pellets. He don't even go after the tilapia or the shrimp when I put it in there. So if you have a fish and, you, and he's going to be stuck on one staple, it's better for him to be stuck on pelletized or flake food because they put everything in there that a fish need to have, a, you know, have to be healthy, you know, all the vitamins they need. So, and then here is the red of the Bapo Pike right here. So again, I gotta feed him tilapia. I could drop in some more of these pellets right here. I'm running low, I'm gonna have to grab some more. Drop some of those pellets in for to pick this catfish. But the bass is not trying to miss a meal, so he's still grabbing some, look at that. Come on now. I'm not putting blood worms in here every day. That's the only thing he's eaten since he's been in here. You can't grow if you don't eat. All right, let's go ahead and there's a pick this catfish. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, and have some fun now. Since we started over here with the pellets, we'll go ahead and feed the pike some tilapia and then we'll move on over to the 225. The salt water. All right, so I'm just going to basically cut a little strip of this tilapia off for the um for the red out of Bapo Pike. Let's 
size right here. Not big at all. There you go. Come on, grab it. Stop playing with it. See the little dance I told you he do sometimes? Playing with it. The last time he just grabbed it fast, I told you. But this is what he does. And then eats it. Funny. So funny. All right. I think that's it. That's pretty much it. I could try putting... He's not going to eat it. I'll try putting another piece in there and see if he'll eat it. I'll try putting another piece in there and see if he'll eat it. The red, the green base snook, but I, I'm pretty sure he won't. Like I said, the only thing he's eaten since I've had him was blood worms. And he's so big, that it'd be almost impossible to get him full off blood worms. So I was just hoping that that would have like got his appetite jump started. So he'd be like, okay, now I want to eat. He's acting a little bit more interested in the pellets than he usually does. Oh, well. The little pick this catfish took that one. Let's, uh, let's get you closer to the tank so you can see things like that. All right, that's much better. So if you got to sit anywhere, that's where you sit, right here. Give you the good view. So everything, all the action is about to happen right in front of you. Here it comes. What, you, what dance you gonna do this time? You gonna let the pick this catfish come grab it or you gonna grab it? See what he does? <laughs> Knowing he's gonna eat it. Look, how, look at his mouth. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you gonna grab it. Here come the pick this catfish. They gonna grab it. Oops, snatch one, gone. That's one down. Keep on playing. Keep playing. There we go. That little dance he does. I'm glad I was able to show you that because I mentioned it last time and he was just went at it and he just went and grabbed it so fast that I was almost eating my words. So now you see the little dance that I was talking about that he do. Dancing with the food. Come on now, Snook. Let's do it. Grab one. Grab that piece right there. I threw him a piece. It's right here. And he's not going to grab it. I don't know. Well, let's move on over to these guys. The real predators. The real predators in the fish room right here. We have the Tessalata eel. Boom. We have two panther groupers in here. We have the yellowhead eel. And then we have white spotted grouper. So let's get these guys fed. They looking hungry. They looking aggressive. I got silver sides for them. You already know this is going to be fun. Here's the yellow head. There's the panther grouper, one of them. And they're wondering why am I taking so long. All right. Who you think is going to be first up? Drop in the comments right now who you think will be the first one to come grab a piece of fish. Is it gonna be the Tessalata, since he's already right here front? Is it gonna be the grouper, who's at the ready? The yellow head? Or is the other grouper gonna sneak up from back there and come and grab it real fast? All right, I'm giving, that's it. Is that enough time for you to drop in the comments what you think it's gonna be? Who you think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be the grouper. I'm gonna drop it right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a fair, I'm gonna give Tess a fair shot. It's gonna be right over his head, but I bet you the grouper come faster. Let's see. Boom. <laughs> How many of y'all was right? How many of y'all was right? Who all guessed the grouper? 
Man, they fast. They super fast. It doesn't even matter that Tess was right there. Watch this one. Here you go. He's all, look, look, he's right here. Here we go. Dropped in. Boom. Come on. It's behind you. It's behind you, boy. Oh, here he come. Here he come. Boom. Did y'all hear that? My boom probably got over. That was loud. It always has a sound when they snatch it. Here we go. It's lagging, huh? You lagging? Oh, snap. Did y'all see that? They both tried to grab that one at the same time. They got some air and all and everything. Here we go. Bam. Mm. Out of there. You lagging. Okay. All right, Tess. Come on, man. I got to... Nope. It's just not happening for you. It's just not happening for you. Come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. I got one for you right here. Look. That's because they're not playing. They hungry. They about to come and grab it. Look. They're not about to play. Bart. Don't follow after Tess. Come on now. You already know how I do. I'm about to pass it right to you. Bring it right to you. Uh. Snatch that. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. There you go. Come back on the side. Fish gone. That's, that was like a magic trick. All right. Bart know what time it is, though. He's right here. He, oh, psh, never mind. Good. Who getting it? Bam. Psh. Reminds you, Tess was right there in the front. Somebody guessed Tess, and now they see that Tess hasn't gotten a single one, and I've been trying to. <laughs> Man, they will never guess Tess again. All right. You right here. I gotta, I'm not going to sit up there and chase you down, Tess. Come get it. There you go. I lost count on how many they got. Anybody keeping count? Did anybody keep count? I don't even know how many the groupers got a piece. There go another one. Another one bites the dust. I only got a few more uh, silver sides. I don't know what's up with Tess. Here, come on, dude. Let's go. Come on. I got you right here, right here, right here, man. Come on. There we go. There we go. Man, I'm about to instantly give you one more because you was waiting so long. They were playing you, snatching them from you. There you go. Ooh, ooh. That was my bad. That was my bad. Bad camera, camera action. All right, test. Come on. There we go. It's like three for you. There we go. Yeah. That's getting big. You see that mohawk he got? <laughs> Bart mad. Like that one was mine. I got I got some more for y'all. Don't even don't even sweat it. Here we go. Come on now, Bart. Let's go. Come get this one right in front of the camera. Oh, too bad. Too late. So sad. Who's getting it? Are you playing? That's cool. I was trying to get us to Bart anyway. Bart. I'm over here calling him like he gonna come. Bart. <laughs> Can't stop me from saying it. Bart, come on. Let's go. All right, well, what's happening? You want it? You want it? You want it? No? All right, all right. Come on, Bart. I was trying to give it to you. What? Man, you seen that? Oh, that was definitely a shot at Bart. He waited until he came to snatch it. Man, I'll be hot. Man, I wouldn't be surprised if Bart want to bite him one time. Give him his little tail a nip. Man, that was shady. All right, Bart, I got you right here. I didn't even like how he did you. I got you right here. You know I look out. Where you go? Coming all the way around this side. Let's go. Come on now. Bam. Mm, snatched. He be too fast. I be trying to catch him for y'all. All right. That's all right. Come on. Tess, what's up? There you go. Yeah. Shake it down. Shake it down. All right. Where we at with it? We have Bart on a hunt for another one. Come on, Bart. I got you. There we go. And disappear with it. And he's going to come out this side. Nope. All right. So that's they, they looking full. They're looking full. So we got the white spot that only eats shrimp and 
tilapia. So with that being said, I got tilapia right here. Let's cut a piece for him. I don't understand it. I don't know why he rather had a tilapia and the shrimp than they have a variety like the other the other guys they gonna eat the shrimp they gonna eat the tilapia they gonna eat the squid the octopus all that they not they not uh they not discriminating against nothing they not turning nothing down only thing they turn down is they fins they gills yep see i told you they ain't turning down nothing <laughs> if i had some shrimp he would eat the shrimp too Look, now the grouper is alert. He tastes the tilapia in the water. Yeah, so I don't know what it is about it, but he definitely don't mess with the silver side. So that's fine. We still could keep him fed. Bart looking like, is that piece for me too? But he's over here, so we gotta watch this. Come on. Come on, Buster. Oh, Bart snatched that. Said you thought you were going to get that. Man, that was shady. All right, now I'm bar full. Now I can finally probably get him a piece. You see how important it is to make sure all your fish is fed? Imagine if I just threw it in, threw food in, and just walked away. The groupers would have ate everything. The, the eels wouldn't have got nothing. The white spot. Come on, man. Let's do it. Show them that you uh that you eat. Let's go. There we go. Showed them. <laughs> Showed them. Where you go? Where you go with it? Yeah, you seen it. He ate it. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and feed these turtles one time. They eat tilapia, shrimp, silver sides. Mr. Eats pellets now, which is amazing. But uh, let's go ahead and get them fed right now. Nope, leave that off. Okay. So Luna looking hungry. That's a good thing. All right, we cutting off strips. And like I told you, I said the African pike and the red tail bright kind eats tilapia and shrimp. <clears throat> they don't eat the silver sides. Watch this. Let's get you uh, in position. Oh, nobody got it? Plan. Plan. Let's try it again. Yeah, don't snatch it from him. Don't snatch it from him. Got it. Still got it. Still got it. Gone. Man, my, my fault. It was hard to keep up with him. But yeah, gone. All right, good. Meanwhile, Luna over here with that piece. And I got some more pieces to throw in here for these fish. The five star one son for sure. The bright kind didn't get any. So let's do this. And then the rest of it, I'm feeding. Oh yeah, I gotta feed the arowana. I gotta get some of this tilapia to the, uh, no, I don't wanna get a tilapia. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start cutting the silver sides for the trigger and the little puffer instead of giving them tilapia. They've been eating tilapia, but I don't wanna keep giving them tilapia. All right, Bright Kind, you playing? You playing with the food? All right, here's a smaller piece. Is that, what, is that what it was? You needed a smaller piece? Nope, but the five star took advantage of that. Good. Good. Meanwhile, look at Mr. over here. Loving life. Look at that. It's so cool how he just tears it apart with his claws with ease. And then here comes Luna coming into the picture. Still got her piece. 
Happy turtle for sure. Well, happy turtles. Yeah. So that's what I like to see. I don't know what you over here trying to do. You didn't even want anything to do with that. So, uh, USOL. That's it. All right, so let's feed some of this tilapia to the arowana right here. I was at work all day, so I didn't get the chance to really feed them throughout the day like I usually do. I usually feed them insects throughout the day. But let's go ahead and, uh, and get this arrow a nice piece of tilapia. This will be the biggest piece that I've ever given it. There we go. This will be the biggest piece I've ever given it, but I think it can handle it. Let's see. Come on, there you go. Get that, get that. Yeah, you got that. Come on now. Too big? Too big? You got that. Too big? Too big? Oh, too big. Okay. Look like they're both hungry. I need to put some smaller pieces in there. Maybe silver sides too. Let's see. Let's try a little bit of both. I'll take out. I'll go ahead and take out the uh, tilapia that I dropped in there. That's nothing. All right, guys. Let me do some. Uh, let me do some cutting right quick. I thought it would. I thought the arrow could eat it. I didn't know that it was going to be that big, but it makes sense. Need to be skinny pieces, long, narrow pieces. Long, skinny pieces, not narrow. All right, so I got a couple pieces cut. Let's uh, let's throw in that one. You don't want to eat nothing? You scared? Well, I'm going to put it all in there because I want to see if Sarin comes up here and try to grab some food. I haven't seen him eat yet. You just missed out on all that? All right, they acting shy. Whatever. Look at this tank. Look at this tank right here. Now this one, matter of fact, let's let's save let's save the salt water for last. Let's 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 get let's get this girl fed cuz you know, she's not going to let us down. She's about to put on a freaking show. This big girl, I don't need to cut any of this. I'm just handing it to her. All right, let's hand her this first, this first almost half a filet. Oh, she's gonna do that with it. Come on, girl. There's a lot more in here for you. Every time I hand her a big piece of food, she swims around erratic like this, all into the wall, all type of stuff, and then she just eats it. One time she didn't even do that though, so I was hoping that this would have been one of those times where she just, just decided to eat it and not do this craziness. At least she didn't go around her little rock island. Uh, <laughs> okay, so as soon as I say something about it, she has to bust a lap. So yeah, this is that's what she does. She might bust a few laps. All right, well, while she's doing that, let's take some of this fish over here and let's feed our little small predators down there. All right, so we have the little puffer right here. And I want to see if I could feed it some little pieces of silver side. And then the same thing for the trigger. They've been eating tilapia, but I don't really want to feed them tilapia. So let's see. Yep. 
Without hesitation. Oh, don't let it fall in that rock. Don't let it fall in that hole. Turn around with it. Turn around with it. Yeah. Having at it. That's good. All right, so let's uh, see about the little trigger. I know the trigger is gonna, I know the trigger's not gonna play. Come on out, there we go, I see you, there we go, yeah. Yeah, that's all you. You gonna be bashful? You gonna be bashful, really? All right, be bashful then. All right, Miami got that piece down. Let's go ahead and finish feeding her then. All right, here we go. Are you gonna do it again? You grabbed it the wrong way. Come on. You grabbed it the wrong way, don't do it. There we go, reposition it and just eat it. There we go. There you go, good girl, got it. Another piece. There you go. So also sometimes, so also for enrichment, I would uh, sometimes make her swim after the fish. Just so she could have a little chase and it's not just always just floating to her. I don't know if it helps or anything, but I like to do it. Another thing I'll do with the silver sides is I'll drop them all in so she has to chase after them because of the little current in the water, they sometimes swim away or they sometimes float away from her. So she has to chase them down just like that. But of course they stop right there you got a couple more coming girl right behind you there's a couple more right there in your face so as you can see she eats a lot she eats really good she eats everything plants pellets meat whatever she's not turning it down a complete beast Love this turtle though. So she probably like 12, her carapace is probably like, and the carapace is the shell. So her carapace is probably like 13 inches long, 12 inches long, maybe like nine inches wide. She's a big girl, but she's definitely gonna double in size and I'm looking forward to that. Make her like a 500 gallon pond or something like that. Something ridiculous with a nice land area and you know, the way that I do things. That's kind of like what I've been envisioning lately. So if I keep on picturing it, it's gonna 100% come into fruition. Girl, get that down. Get that down. Get that down, get that down, get that down. But yeah, so yeah, she's she's doing so good. She's really loving this 225. You got you got two, you got matter of fact, you got like four more. You got four more pieces. One, two, three, four. Well, I'm sure she'll find them. And that's again part of enrichment. You know, if I would have just fed them all to her, she wouldn't even have any food to go and seek out later on. So if she forget about it now, she'll definitely get it later. But I think she's gonna eat it all now. She just don't realize that it's still some in the tank. And then lastly, we have this tank. So this is what I be telling you. This is what I said with Ick. Check it out. The fox face has Ick. And that's the reason why I say keep medicating. So I'm not concerned. I'm just gonna medicate again. Just keep it up. I'm, they're not gonna be mo moving out anytime soon. So it's okay. It's 
So that's just one little cap full. I have two more to put, and then uh, then we'll feed them. Yeah, I medicated them first before I fed them. They'll, they'll still eat. All right, so where's, I need some more copper safe right here. It's about time for me to buy some more, especially with the saltwater fish, because the saltwater fish always have ick. One more. There we go. Pesky it. But yeah, they'll be all right. That's necessary. I'm glad I'm able to do. I'm, able, I'm glad I'm able to go through the process with you all. I want you all to see firsthand how to deal with it, how not to panic, and just keep treating it accordingly. Like I said, that's the reason why quarantine time is anywhere between 21 days with no decor to 72 days with decor. And these fish are small, so I don't mind them having to stay in quarantine that long because, you know, where else are they going to go? But this ick is ridiculous. Let's see if they'll eat, regardless of me treating the tank. And I think they'll eat. I don't think that's going to stop them from wanting to eat. See? Told you. So, yeah, just small pellets. They love it. Yep. So long as the fish is still eating and swimming naturally and acting normal, you know, just treating the tank for the ick, you should be okay. Just stay on top of it. All right, so that's about it. About to lead these guys to it. Anyway, that's about it. I appreciate you guys for kicking it with me. I hope you enjoyed this feeding video. I know some of the tanks were more exciting than others. But in the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you took something from it. I hope that you learned from it. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Share the video if it's in you. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.